My name is Ray Henderson. I'm a senior for the Sturgis soccer team. Been playing for eight years, four years for the team. The last season here, I was a little disappointed we didn't make the playoffs, but that's due to the fact we had such a young team this year. It took a while for us to get into our stride, and once we finally did, we started playing some good games. So I was happy to see uh, our last couple of games. I was happy to see some improvement from the younger boys. And I think they'll be doing a lot better as the years move on. Um, yeah, like I said, it was disappointing not making the playoffs, but I did have a good time this year. It was all around pretty fun. We're talking Scooper Boys Soccer with the head coach, Ty Lauder. And Ty, thanks for visiting with us and uh, do a recap of the season. I think it's always great to talk about the boys. Um, yeah, a little review on the season. Uh, we finished 4-9-1 and one this year. We fell just short of the playoff spot. Um, kind of had some things not go our way health-wise, which really I think is what set us apart from our goals this season. Uh, we just we had probably about nine different varsity members that missed two plus games and we had two players that missed like six plus games this year and health was the biggest thing that held us back we were never a fully unit at any point this season yeah injuries and illnesses uh, make, make a big difference on whether or not how well you do yeah it, it does and it can just like one player being hurt can just change the whole dynamic of uh, the way you want to play the way other players feed off because you know like if you're out there with like your best friend Things just come naturally when you're playing with them. Uh, but I will say this, though. This was the most, like, team team I've ever coached. Everybody felt like a family. Everybody came to practice, excited to work with people. I had upperclassmen willing to stay after and, you know, drive underclassmen home, pick them up in the morning. Like, it just felt like a full family. For us, it's the first time I've ever felt like I'd go to practice and there would be, there's no issues. You know, they're high school boys. It is how it is. They, but everybody was there for each other. They worked their tails off for not just themselves, but for the team and for the person next to them. And if somebody was dragging a little bit, they picked them up and helped them push themselves a little bit further. And it was fantastic. And I think it just, it started with us coaches preaching down to our captains, our captains down to the older players and the older players and the younger players. And it was just a full circle. And Coach, who are some of your top scorers this season? Um, so our top three scorers this year, we had uh, in second tied, we had a uh, Cruz Chavez, senior forward, he had four goals, and then uh, Luke Hosman, a sophomore, he had four goals as well. Uh, he also played time on JV, so he got pulled up and made some big plays. But our leading goal scorer was uh, freshman Carson Walter, uh, center forward for us, had eight goals this year. Uh, he wins the Kurt Wilson Golden Boot Award tonight at our award ceremony, and uh, his name is forever in history with Sergio Coopers. One really um, important thing every year is the senior leadership you have, and uh, we're going to be losing uh, eight boys that were fantastic at that. Of, of, I asked them all to watch over a new player, and each person mentored specifically a new player to the program, got them familiar with what we do as scoopers, how we practice, how we train, how we play, how we act. And they started a great tradition that we're going to continue on, and it's all thanks to them that we're able to build this family that we have. Who are some of the athletes that will be coming back next year? Uh, so our, our leading goal scorer, Carson Walter, he'll be going into his sophomore year, so he'll be coming back. Uh, we also have sophomore captain who'll be returning, Carson Burnt. Um, he'll be able to take another big leadership role as the lone returning captain. Uh, and then we had a honorable mention uh, all-conference, Dash Schuster, who stepped up big time for us, had to play multiple positions, and kind of just showed how we can you know, embody what a team is and lead out there physically. And there's so much more talent coming out after that. We have a large group of upcoming juniors and sophomores and freshmen that are going to continue to build this team. Coach, appreciate you taking time to visit about the Scooper Boys soccer team. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, now we're going to go out and give out some awards tonight for our season.